Good day, everybody. It is currently the 31st of October, 2012. It is a Halloween out here in the Western Pacific and also the Indian Ocean, including the Bay of Bengal today. We are watching our uh, cyclonic storm, Neelam, uh, continuing to move off here towards the northwest, a very broad area of convection, stretching all the way down here through about the equatorial regions, right around zero degrees. They're extending off here towards the north, already seeing some outer rain bands push on across the southern portions of India. Sri Lanka, you have been just getting impacted with rain showers the past several days, and now it is continuing to push off there towards the northwest, likely going to be making a landfall near Chennai in the next about 25. Four to 36 hours. But even the outer rain bands already impacting the area. This shown by the World Meteorological Organization's last 24 hours reports. You can see upwards of 176 millimeters recorded here at this location on Sri Lanka. As we look off towards southern India, already seeing over about 60 to 70 millimeters in the past 24 hours, including this one upwards of about 87 there in Madras. Uh, similar area as Chennai, actually same place. So uh, it's definitely already seeing an exceptionally high amount of rainfall at 116 millimeters. It's going to still add up across this region. I know that you are looking forward to the northeast month, which would lead to some drier weather, but at this time, it is not going to be the case. We see here on our GFS model outlook, we have the storm system just off the coastline there, a cyclonic storm, Neelam, continuing to push onshore. After it makes landfall, it does rapidly dissipate here, going through about the Wednesday overnight hours just south of Chennai. Uh, you see it continuing to drift across the southern portions of the country, but then going into the weekend, it basically just falls apart here. Now, I think yesterday I said that I expected it to fall apart even quicker than this. It does look like some of the precipitation could linger, dragging in the moisture from the warm waters of the Bay of Bengal off there towards the east. But overall, it definitely is going to rather dissipate out here. Even now towards Hyderabad, though, a little bit farther inland, uh, you could be seeing some heavy rain showers. Even flooding could be of risk. But really the worst and the more serious of the flooding, likely going to be around the Chennai area. Even uh, there could be a small storm surge pushing onshore as indicated by the Indian Meteorological Department in their outlook, saying that a storm surge of about 1 to 1.5 meters over the astronomical tide could inundate some low-lying areas in Chennai and all these surrounding areas. But if we scroll up, they're also talking about winds upwards of 55 to 65 and gusts up to 70 kilometers per hour, and even the storm could be upwards of about 80 to 90 with gusting up to 100 kilometers per hour just prior to landfall, as shown here with their outlook. Now let's take a look at the official track from the India Meteorological Department. has been rather wobbling here, pushing off towards uh, Sri Lanka, now drifting back towards the northeast, but a uh, ridge of high pressure off here towards the northeast should keep an on-track movement ever so slowly, eventually making landfall once again, going through the overnight hours on Wednesday into Thursday. That's when you're going to be seeing the gusty winds. So definitely tonight you want to be staying in. Uh, don't venture out to the coastlines, obviously. Rough surf is going to be a very high risk here, especially in these low-lying areas as well. As the uh, warning posted there, there is still the threat of storm surge right up near the coastlines around Chennai. So definitely be safe out there, everybody. And don't do anything foolish. Now, just for a comparison, where I'll show you the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Not the official agency by any means for India, but uh, they currently have winds of 50 gusting up to 65. Not uh, expecting it to plant pass its closest to Chennai at 78 nautical miles, as shown here on their warning. So a little bit farther towards the south, they expect it to take more of a westerly projection instead of a northwesterly projection. Regardless, they'll still seeing these winds uh, exceptionally strong near the coastlines and still, once again, that threat of surge and the heavy rainfall as that moisture continues to wrap around and pushes onshore across much of the eastern coast here. So definitely want to continue to keep you updated here at westernpacificweather.com. On this storm, what else is going on in the western Pacific, which really at this time, not too much. On Friday, may see some weather across portions of Japan, but as far as the tropics, Thankfully, uh, we are getting a little lull in the action here. You can see actually Sun Tin kind of spinning out there over southern China. Conditions now approving across China. Philippines, sunny skies today in much of the Indochina Peninsula. You are seeing some afternoon thunderstorms, but nothing too active. So great news on that part. Uh, that is all for me today, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at Western Pacific Weather. If you are here in India and you have any pictures or videos, please share them with us here as well. You can share them on our Facebook or Twitter page at Western Pacific.
specific weather. You can also follow me at Robert Spena. Also, to reminder, tomorrow I will be back on air at NHK World, so just follow me there if you want to uh, watch on uh, TV via these online videos. But also at the website, there are uh, plenty of other information, including our daily satellite updates, so please go do check that out. But please stay safe. Uh, first and foremost, also, if you are being asked to evacuate or anything uh, related to that, uh, please do so. Stay safe, everybody out there. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.